Kyle Roberts created history by breaking Wayne Rooney's long-standing record and becoming the youngest ever player to debut for England. And now there are rumours coming out from the England camp that Roberts is in contention for getting picked for the England squad for the upcoming UEFA Euros 2020. What an opportunity that would be to represent England on the international stage and to finally try and bring a trophy home for England. But of course, these are just rumours. Only time will tell if Kyle Roberts makes the cut for the Euros. For now though, the Bundesliga season is coming to an end. Just five games to go in the competition and Schalke are in a Champions League spot. So the goal for Roberts and Co is to finish and secure Champions League football for next season. But there's a lot of drama around Schalke as well. Rumours are breaking out that Schalke are looking to sell a few players next season to help cover their debt. And to make things more interesting, Kyle Roberts is one of the players in contention to being sold. Remember a few months ago when Real Madrid came calling? Schalke had already accepted the offer and were willing to let him go for 40 million and now Schalke need the money to pay their debt and that means Kyle Roberts could be sold. This could actually end up being Roberts' final season at Schalke and he intends to finish it on a high. At least securing Champions League football is the goal. He does not know where his future lies. He does not know anything about the Euros. For now though, the focus for him is finishing high in the Bundesliga. So here we are back again with another episode of the My Player Career Mode series. This is episode number 9 and we're going to be wrapping up the season in today's episode. A lot's going on right now with Kyle Roberts as you would have seen. Talks about him being picked for the Euros and apart from that Schalke forcefully selling Kyle Roberts which means... He might be on the move for next season. For now though, his focus remains on the Bundesliga as we try and secure top four for Schalke, try and secure Champions League football for them for the upcoming season. Alright, so if you guys are enjoying the My Player series, keep the support coming in. If you guys can smash out 3000 likes, that'd be incredible. And hopefully I'll try and be as consistent as possible if you guys can smash that like target. And if you are new around here, subscribe for more career mode as well as My Player content. Lots of people have actually asked me in the comment section, hey, what's the schedule now for the My Player career mode? Especially since I've now started a proper career mode with Bayer Leverkusen. Well, the schedule is going to be every Sundays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm going to be uploading an episode of the My Player career mode. Hopefully, I can stay consistent with the schedule. There is a very good chance that Robert sends up winning the top assister award in the Bundesliga this season. He's on 11 assists already in 19 games, which is just phenomenal. Diego Aspas is giving him tough competition, but if Roberts can keep his form up, he might just end up winning the top assister award, which would be unbelievable for his first season in the Bundesliga and potentially even last. So I know we've hit now 15 goal contributions, which means we're going to have to change the hairstyle. But you know what? I'm actually liking this current look for Kyle Roberts, you know, the kind of a Puyol look. So we're going to keep it for now. Maybe next season we'll look at something different. This could be the episode where Roberts finally gets to upgrade either his composure stat or his weak foot. So with our objectives, we're actually in a tricky spot. Just five games to go. We need to get five assists with him. We need to score from outside the box, score with his weak foot. We're in a tricky spot. The only objective I feel like we'll definitely complete or we should complete is the Champions League dream objective. So it's not a good position to be in, but at least we'll get to make one upgrade. Also, if we make the Euros, should we count the Euro games for these objectives as well? Does the Euros count as this season? Let me know in the comments section. But of course, it depends on whether Roberts does get picked for the England squad or not. To start the episode off, we sit this one out against Union Berlin, but we do end up winning 4-1, which is perfect. Schalke now to Two points clear of RB Leipzig with four games to go in the Bundesliga. But up next is a massive fixture as Schalke take on Bayer Leverkusen in the league. If we can beat them, we might actually be able to leapfrog Leverkusen in the rankings, which could be massive. Finishing third in the Bundesliga is definitely much better. So this game carries a lot of importance. Schalke versus Leverkusen at the Weltens Arena. It's going to be a massive one. I completely forgot, but look at this, boys. Kyle Roberts is already 81 rated. If we do end up leaving Schalke... We could be on our way to a huge club, especially considering how high rated we are. Anyways, up against Bayer Leverkusen, this is how the coaches lined up the team. I'm ready for this game, man. Let's get on the pitch, grab a few assists and put in a good performance. This could lead to something. 
Chance for Kyle, controls it well, releases this one for Mascarell. Could be a simple finish for him, but I think Mascarell was offside regardless. He still missed the chance though. Roberts getting the ball in a deep position as he looks to feed his teammate here. Ooh, almost got it past Um Titi, who's now playing for Leverkusen. What a signing that is, to be fair. Could be a chance though for us as here's Zahavi who goes for goal from a difficult angle. Tradecki makes a good save. Oh, the dribbling is just superb right here. Looks a pass inside. Oh, it's a beautiful ball to our number nine, Zahavi, with a lovely chance to score there. Couldn't convert, but the chance might still be on for us as here's Roberts with some good dribbling. Somehow still keeps hold of the ball. Still Roberts here. Looks for Petkovic who turns, shoots and scores. Petkovic cannot be stopped, man. The amount of times we've linked up with him and the amount of times he's delivered is crazy. Petkovic on target. Kyle picks up yet another assist as he tries to win the top assisted award in the Bundesliga. Sets up Petkovic beautifully and we make it 1-0. A fantastic goal right there from Schalke. Look at that pass as well. Right footed pass to Petkovic and he bangs it home. Oh, that is beautifully done there by Roberts and now spreads it wide for Serda. Good football. Petkovic looks in behind to Zahavi. Could be a chance for him but Radecki got there first. Kyle on the attack once again. The track back of dreams opening up more space. Looks for Petkovic. No, it's Zahavi actually and Zahavi this time converts. Fair enough, the Israeli international has just scored a beautiful left footed goal and Roberts picks up his second assist of the game. Yo, we might actually end up completing the assist objective, just three more assists needed and we do have the games to get it done. Another lovely run of play there from Kyle as he got past the defender in beautiful fashion with the drag back and then Zahavi got the job done after controlling the ball really well. We're dominating right now as we lead 2-0 against Leverkusen. We might actually end up finishing above them in the Bundesliga at this rate. Kyle Roberts once again on the attack. The strength to hold up the play was lovely. He might be able to get this one back from Mascarell. Almost goes there sliding in, but Radecki got there first. Again, brilliant build-up. This is turning out to being his best performance in a Schalke shirt by the looks of it. He's just been unstoppable. Roberts, simple pass to Zahavi, gets it back. Back to Zahavi, simple chance for him to score. It's a hat-trick of assist for Kyle Roberts. Only the second time he's managed to achieve this feat in his career. Zahavi with another banging finish. And Schalke cruising against Bayer Leverkusen. This has to be Roberts' best performance in his career so far. So dominant in that camp role, creating chance after chance, beating players for fun, dribbling has been unbelievable. Like this, this is, this is the best performance of Roberts, hands down. Sahavi looks for Roberts, simple pass, keeping possession. Now it's Petkovic, looks for Roberts again. That first touch was simply outrageous. Still Roberts, chance for him to score as well. Now goes for goal with his right foot. Big mistake there, so it's an easy save for the keeper. I can't wait for Roberts to get the upgrade on his weak foot. And that's full time. Schalke completely dismantled by Leverkusen in what is probably the most convincing performance we've had all season long. A clean sheet. Roberts was just so dominant, Leverkusen just couldn't handle him. And this was no random side of the Bundesliga, they were third in the league. So against the top team, Roberts has delivered. Definitely feel like Kyle deserves a higher match rating. Nine feels a bit low, but four key passes, three assists, not bad at all. And that is another Team of the Week award for Kyle Roberts. I mean, a hat-trick of assists, of course you're going to find yourself in the Team of the Week. Um, this is not good news. Bruno Petkovic, probably Roberts' favourite teammate, is out for the next seven days with a pulled hamstring. He's certainly going to miss this one against Frankfurt, which is not good news. We do get benched in this one against Frankfurt, but we do come away with a 1-0 win. Petkovic wasn't playing anyway, so no point in playing the game. We're going to be playing the last two games of the season, though. Wolfsburg and Freiburg to end the season on a high. The draw for the Euros 2020 has been made and well, Romania, Austria and Belgium are in England's group. Definitely an interesting group. Belgium are a fun side. It's going to be an exciting game against them, but we don't know if Roberts is going to play at the Euros or not. We can only wait to find out. Back to the Bundesliga. We're still only a couple of points above RB Leipzig with two games to go, so anything can happen. We've got the same points as Leverkusen, but they've got a way better goal difference than us. Our next game is also a tricky one against Wolfsburg, who are seventh in the league. So this is going to be difficult. They're playing for a Europa League spot, so I'm sure they aren't going to let up. Roberts is in pole position for winning the top assisted award. He's on 14 assists right now. Just one more assist. We complete one of our objectives as well. Let's get it done. Good to see Petkovic back in the team. Zahavi starts as well. Mascarell, Harith all in the lineup. A strong Schalke side. Let's go get the win. Just realized with all the rumors about Roberts potentially moving at the end of the season, 
This could be his final game at the Welton Serena, so hopefully he can give something the fans can remember. Petkovic, now Mascarell, does well to find Petkovic who goes for goal and almost scores. One of the best goals you would have seen this season outside the box, but the post denies him. Corner, if we could get an assist from a set piece, that'd be nice. Good ball played in Sane's header off the post. Harit on the rebound tries to score, so does Ozan, but they all miss. Would have been his first assist from a corner, but... The post again denies us for the second time in this game. Amavi looks for Roberts, releases this one for Petkovic, has to be a goal and it is. Roberts gets his 15th assist of the season and with that we complete one of our objectives. Brilliant to see which means Roberts will be getting a weak foot upgrade at the end of this game which is gonna be awesome to see. Simple assist, left footed pass to Petkovic who's been in fine form even after that injury. A lovely assist there from him and Petkovic again with a lethal finish with his left foot. He's been a formidable partner up top here. Roberts again on the attack, this time maybe going for goal himself. Roberts has broken through, chance for him, goes for goal with his right foot. Once again his weak foot is denying him opportunities to score. Frustrating. Oh, Kyle has won that back really well. Roberts. Oh, the Elastico of Dreams. Kyle Roberts with the chance. No, the keeper denies him. Imagine if he would have scored that, beating a defender with the Elastico. And then the shot and goal would have been such a lovely moment at the Velton City. Now, I'm sure the fans wouldn't forget that, but uh, it's frustrating. Ball comes in for Vegas, who turns, finds the pass to Milijovic, and we're so lucky to not concede from that attack. Wolfsburg have been so dominant ever since we took the lead. And, well, in front of goal, though, they're wasting their chances. They've got to be doing better. I'm glad, though, that they're wasting their chances. And that's full-time. A 1-0 win for Schalke against Wolfsburg. Roberts once again decisive with the assist. We don't know if this is his final game at the Veltins Arena, but at least he performed in this one. 7.7 .7 match rating, not bad at all. A couple of key dribbles, one key pass, one assist. Can't ask for more. As you can see, we've completed the next Sancho objective. 15 assists now for Kyle Roberts in the Bundesliga. We've got it done, which means time to upgrade one of Roberts' stats. So we've decided to upgrade Kyle Roberts' weak foot because you guys have seen the amount of times we've been in a difficult situation because of that one-star weak foot. It's now a two-star weak foot and I'm hoping we can upgrade it even further. So good position to be in. And also another option was to upgrade the composure stat which is pretty terrible at the moment at 55 but we'll do that in due time for now let's focus on the weak foot when roberts made the move from chelsea to schalke to the bundesliga a new league new culture new traditions nobody expected this kind of an impact he almost got nominated for the golden boy award he is going to pretty much finish the top assistant in the bundesliga Nobody expected him to be this good. And now his journey with Schalke might be coming to an end. The Bundesliga has been a long and fun season. Roberts has had some incredible memories. This was the season where he got his England debut as well and might be making the Euros. So it's been a memorable time at Schalke. And let's hope Roberts and Co can end it on a high. This is it. Time to wrap up our season with Schalke. We don't have much to play for, but we do want to end the season off on a high. This is how the team lines up against Freiburg. Roberts starting in Camus. Stamina is in full, but we got to play the final game of the season, don't we? Petkovic starts. Kabak, Harit, a strong lineup. Let's go out there and have some fun. Oh, chance given away stupidly for Freiburg. And well, Nubel has been beaten. 1-0 down to Freiburg. I know there isn't much to play for, but that doesn't mean we concede goals like this. There's still enough time for us to make the comeback. I don't want to end off on potentially Roberts' final game of the season in a loss. Roberts. Oh, gets past one. Lovely to see. As here he goes on the attack. Looking to maybe score for Schalke and potentially his final game for the club. Still Roberts. Ah, oh, can't do much there. He's got to work on, you know, using his right foot more there because there he lost out on the attack because he was so concerned with getting the shot off with his left foot. Could be a chance though for Petkovic now, shoots off the post. How many times does Petkovic and our other strikers want to hit the post in this episode? It's actually getting annoying. Freiburg with another chance here, shots taken, and Nubel with a good save. This game has been really weird, man. It's been a different feel to it. Like, it seems like the Schalke players are very disinterested, I suppose. And considering we were so good against Bayer Leverkusen and Wolfsburg, to see this kind of a performance is a surprise. I guess it's due to the fact that we don't have much to play for. Motivation is a big factor in this sport. Full time, and this was an underwhelming game. We may as well have not played it. This was just awful. Fair enough, Freiburg, they get the win, but Schalke just felt like they just weren't in it. But to be fair, we've secured Champions League football, so can't really complain. A 6.3 match rating? Yeah, that sums it up, really.
And with that, the Bundesliga comes to a conclusion as we end up finishing fourth in the league, securing Champions League football for next season. That was our goal at the start of the season with Schalke when we joined them and we've achieved it. 69 points in total, had to be 69, am I right? After 34 games, Dortmund end up winning the league, fair enough. They deserve it, 87 points, four above Bayern Munich. Surprising that Bayern didn't put up more of a challenge against Dortmund, but anyways, Champions League football next season, so if we do end up staying with Schalke, we'll still be playing at the very top level. Kyle also ends up winning his first accolade in the Bundesliga, which is the Top Assister Award. 15 assists this season, 3 more than Lewandowski, 3 more than Aspas, he got the job done and with that, of course you're going to find yourself in the Bundesliga team of the season, along with the likes of Sancho, Lewandowski, Perisic and all. Kyle Roberts has made it to the Bundesliga team of the season. He gets himself a beautiful looking 90 rated team of the season card. The day has finally come where the England squad for the Euros are going to be announced and Kyle Roberts waits anxiously to find out whether his name is included or not, whether he's going to make the England national team or not. He's already made his unofficial debut but playing in the Euros is a dream every footballer has and this is his chance. And the news has finally come in and well, Roberts has made the cut for the Euros. He'll be alongside the likes of Trent, Stones, Tarkowski, Jordan Henderson, Madison, Rashford, Deli Ali, Vardy, Kane and surprisingly, no Jaden Sancho. One of his good mates, Sancho, isn't making the cut. A big surprise. Maybe has Roberts taken his place? I'm not so sure, but that is a big surprise. Regardless, Roberts is going to the Euros. Schalke's president has just dropped Kyle a message congratulating him about his selection at the Euros. Also, there's business to be talked about. He's asking him about his future, to, you know, plan on future deals and all that sort of stuff. But Roberts was quick to decline as he's just said his focus is on the Euros and any transfer business will be discussed after. So, we're going to find out whether Robert stays at Schalke or not after the Euros. So we end off the Bundesliga season with 22 games played, 5 goals, 15 assists and an average rating of 7.4. And we also end up being included in the team of the season. What a start to his professional career. The 17-year-old is now gearing up for the Euros and a potential move elsewhere after. For now though... Focus is all on the English national team. But with that, we're wrapping up today's episode of the My Player Career Mode series. It was an absolutely massive episode. A lot went down. Transfer talks will be happening soon about his future at Schalke. The Euros in the next episode. We wrapped up the Bundesliga in style. Can't wait to see what the future holds for Roberts. But if you've enjoyed this series so far, keep the support coming in. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys next time for another episode of this series.